Welcome, I'm Sean Fleming, and I am going to be running you through the reutilization and uh, the uh, rebuilding of Cambrai Fritz Concern of Darmstadt, Germany, from October 2019 to 2021, here in April. And um, if you did not know, uh, Darmstadt it was the host of two army bases, uh, Kelly Barracks and Cambrai Fritz Concern, uh, up until 2007 when the military left. And uh, for the last uh, 13 or so years, uh, the base lay dormant. Uh, and now the Germans have been uh, rebuilding there. Now, uh, in the picture you see here is back in 1945 when uh, the United States military took the concern over from the uh, German army uh, back from World War II. It was used as a Nazi base, uh, but then uh, reused now as a an American base. Um, and not much uh, changed. I think there was an addition of... A bunch of buildings, uh, maybe uh, for for uh, for certain things, but uh, yeah. And so, uh, in two thousand and seven, the United States military left, and now it's being demolished and uh, prepared to be uh, rebuilt on for a very nice community in the Darmstadt area. So here in this photo right here, you can see this is the base as it was back in like maybe the 90s up until the 2007. Uh, really great uh, uh, tennis courts, baseball field, um, really, uh, really well taken care of. This picture shows uh, in the middle of the photo, you can see there's a square that's a courtyard. And my building where I lived was just to the left of that courtyard uh, in the photo there in Bravo Company 440th. Okay, so in this uh, video right here, you can see also that uh, the base here is now, uh, now nobody's stationed there. This is after 2007, and you can definitely see uh, that there uh, is a lot of overgrowth and uh, whatnot, and uh, the motor poles look like they have a lot of, um, you know, weeds growing over and uh, trees that aren't taken care of, and this is definitely after 2007. So in this photo here, this is one of the uh, very first um, uh, photos. They have a webcam on top of the uh, tower um, at the beginning of the base on the north on the north side, and uh, this is pointing towards uh, most of the uh, the barracks. Uh, the one that's uh, on the top, um, in the middle of the top right hand screen, that's Bravo Company. As you see, the tennis courts there to your left, and the and and the um, and the gym in the far uh, up top uh, there. But uh, yeah, this is October two thousand and nineteen. So this uh, photo right here is uh, showing uh, towards the uh, south side of the uh, the base uh, from the uh, tower uh, that's in the front. As you can see, the uh, the the middle square there with the flag po uh, pole is there. Uh, the building with the um, the clock tower on top of it was the headquarters building and uh, of the 22nd Signal Brigade uh, there in Darmstadt, Germany. Okay, in this uh, photo here, the camera is pointing towards uh, the uh, the Bravo Company 440th motor pole. Uh, as you can see, the PX and the parking lot of the PX and the bowling uh, center is far in the distance, uh, along with the NCO club and the PX and everything else on that, uh, that side of the post. Uh, this is fall time of 2019 uh, when uh, they, they took over the base. Okay, in this photo right here is an overhead photo. There you can see the uh, baseball field, and uh, next to that, uh, the tennis courts have been um, demolished. Uh, you can see the tower next to the head uh, next to the headquarters barracks, and uh, then the uh, the courtyard. And you can see the motor pole to the left, upper left, and you see Bravo Company barracks, four uh, fortieth uh, right there uh, at the bottom of the screen. So in this photo here, courtesy of Trace of History Overseas, we're just using their, uh, they have a great uh, Facebook page you can go to and see all tons of photos from Darmstadt they're keeping track of. But this one is of the motor pole of the four, Bravo 440th motor pole and the uh, building over there. And there's tons of photos on their Facebook page. I say you should go check them out. Okay, this is an overhead view from the south of the base. Uh, you can see it's uh, looking towards the, on the left-hand side, you can see the, uh, the, uh, 
the movie theater, bowling alley, and um, everything else like the PX and the NCO club to the left. Uh, to the north, you can see that you can see the distance. Uh, Darmstadt going towards um, downtown, um, and um, and here you can see on the bottom side of this photo, you can see um, Jefferson um, Jefferson Village, where basically where the officers' headquarters were, and uh, the chapel and uh, whatnot. So really great photo from uh, the south of of the base. Okay, this is a photo of them um, when they first started out uh, demolishing the, uh, the north side of the base. I believe it's the north. I, I refer to this section as the north side of the base, by the way, if you haven't noticed. And uh, this is where, uh, up against the fence, and the, in the in, uh, actually, this is the, where the tennis courts used to be. If you can tell, you can see where the green uh, cement used to be and stuff like that. This is almost in the same area. This is uh, what used to be the uh, rec center, uh, also the center um, next to the tennis courts uh, area. This is where you went and hung out and called your parents from home using the uh, uh, the Deutsches Telekom uh, telephones, um, and uh, where you first uh, you could. I think the USO was maybe in this building. I forget, but anyways. Um, this is right across from Bravo Company 440th and also where the car repair shop is, which is right to the right-hand side. And uh, this is where most of the de demolition started at on this uh, backside by the tennis courts and the baseball. Okay, here's a, a picture from the back gate going to the front. This is just recent, like like the last few weeks, I guess. And they've been really, de de they've gotten almost everything demolished now. This is the backside looking towards the front. There's nothing in your way. Uh, you can see all the way to the front of the uh, the, uh, the base where the uh, the clock, clock tower is. Went a little out of the sequence there. This is back uh, in the beginning of the demo, uh, demo, uh, demolition. Uh, they're getting rid of the, the motor pole next to the Charlie Company barracks um, right there. Uh, and then, as you can see, the Charlie Company barracks of 440th is kind of being, uh, you know, the roof is being torn up and uh, and whatnot. But this is uh, what was left of the uh, the motor pole. Okay, here's a picture right here. This is back where uh, <clears throat> where the uh, where the mess hall used to be in the back side. There, they have demolished that side. This is earlier on, and 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 where they were clearing out the what I call the north side of the base, where the tennis courts, the uh, recreational building was, uh, where. Uh, the uh, the mess hall was and uh, whatnot and so uh, here's another photo. Okay, in this photo you can see um, the motor pole there being torn up. This is another view of it, and um, it it really shows that uh, they were they you know they got rid of that motor pole. This is earlier on in the construction again. And uh, to the right uh, is the last building standing, by the way, which is actually the gym, which is going to be reutilized um, uh, by the, the new community that's going to be there. All right. In this photo, you can see that uh, still some of the buildings are standing. You have uh, Bravo Company there in the uh, that's um, next to that courtyard. Uh, and uh, then you also have the Charlie Company. The motor pole looks like it's still kind of there, sort of. Um, and then you also have the gym to the far, the far right. And uh, and so this is just another photo, kind of giving you uh, what happened after the first part, uh, the first part of the demolitions. Now we get into really some really great demolition photos right here of uh, the the base, and. Uh, and basically this one, you can see that Charlie Company building is basically almost all demolished in this photo. This is, I would say this is somewhere nearby the gym on the top of the, uh, the building there. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. And you can see, because you can see the tower in the distance. And uh, yeah, it's uh, this looks like it's on the top of some type of crane looking in that way. So this is the demolition. This is almost, uh, this is, looks like it's... Um, a Charlie Company building almost completely demolished um, at this point in time in this built in this pit photo right here. And uh, Charlie Company 440th, I believe that was, uh, I don't know if they had another company that resided with them. It might have been the Alpha Company in the same building. But uh, yeah, um, this is just another, you know, 
picture for you to reminisce on. Okay, in this photo right here, this is the, the beginning of the demolition of the Bravo Company building, believe it or not. And uh, and uh, so this is where they started demolishing uh, the, uh, the north side of the building. And uh, they've taken off some of the roof. And um, yeah, so they're just kind of uh, getting started right here. This is about May 2020, just to let you know, because I have a time lapse that I'm going to try to add on here to show what's been going on. Okay, right here, here's another portion where they've knocked, uh, I think it's almost the same photo, but kind of uh, further up in the air. And uh, you can see the, 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 the roof is completely gone down to the wood. And they're knocking down the building. And uh, they've got a lot, a lot of rubble there. Now, um, this is, remember, this is in May of uh, 2020. And uh, before that, the Charlotte Company building was down. So that was like right in the last part of April. And... Um, that's uh, they started almost all of their work in the spring of 2020. Okay, in this photo, they almost had the the building completely gone right there, and uh, that's a Bravo Company. It was so sad for me because it, no, I'm I'm not <laughs> really crying, but it, it is sad to see you know things change and uh, being demolished, and uh, the reality is this is going to be a good place for uh, the Darmstadt community to expand. And to revitalize, uh, uh, you know, land that was uh, used for military base and uh, for both the German and the United States armies. And here's a up close photo of the Bravo Company uh, building uh, being demolished right here. This is uh, somebody once said on a, on a post of this uh, photo that, uh, hey, you can see uh, something left over. Uh, uh, that's the used to be my. Uh, yeah. First of all, I don't think anybody lived on the top floor. There's like two. There was three floors, but uh, there was some actually attic area there that uh, I don't think we. I never even been up to, but you know maybe uh, some uh, maintenance guy was there. Um, I don't. I have no idea, but uh, but it's interesting to uh, to kind of watch the demolition and see it, and it's uh, sort of like a um, you know uh, standstill time. Here's just another quick uh, picture of the uh, Charlie Company building before it was uh, taken down. This is probably like, you know, the last part of April 2020. And you can see the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, monopole in the gym there again. Okay, in this photo, you can see uh, this is like where the flagpole was. This is like the main cluster of four buildings that they are actually keeping. These these buildings are going to stay here. Um, this is going to be the center of like the, uh, the new community that's going to be there. And it should be really nice. They're going to redo all the buildings here and redo them. Also, the Strauss is actually going to be, they're, they're expanding it. It's going to be going through the middle. And, um, and it should be really interesting to see how they lay the track and the new cement and everything. Okay, so in this uh, picture right here, you can see a lot of things are demolished. Uh, this is not where everything's completely demolished yet, uh, but this is uh, where you can see you can see the uh, tower there with the headquarters building, Bravo Company building still there, um, uh, and uh, the Charlie Company building looks like it's just, I think it's fully there in that photo right there. You can see uh, the gym there and a couple other buildings that were behind. I don't know what those buildings were for, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. very interesting. Okay, in this photo, everything's demolished in the north side. Basically, it's all completely gone. Bravo Company is just barely being knocked down there. That was This is like probably taken in May of 2020, just as they just started doing uh, knocking down the Bravo Company building. You can see that part of it's uh, halfway gone uh, and uh, whatnot. And it was a, blue, a beautiful, clear day, it appears. And this is a great photo from up above and uh, kind of give you a perspective of uh, uh, this is in May of 2020. Okay, here's another one. Uh, this is before that time. This is probably around a April, April, maybe before April, like the beginning of April, where they had uh, gotten everything demolished. Uh, it looks like they're still kind of working on the tennis courts there by the cement. And uh, they demolished, this is like the first probably set of demolishments uh, that they did in the early spring of 20, uh, maybe like January or February of 2020. And, uh, and it's a, a good overhead uh, view right here. So this is even a wider shot of the same shot, but uh, actually you get to see Lincoln Village, which is right over to the um, to the to the far right of this uh, photo, and you can actually see in the distance you can see the work that's been done on Lincoln Village, uh, where they have made new brand new um, apartment complexes, and they're going to have a brand new school. They had a brand new gym. Uh, they, I mean, they basically uh, they did a lot of things. They're 
going on. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to give a short rundown of the updates of what's been going on. Okay, in this photo, this is from uh, took, taken from above. This is kind of almost uh, at, still at the beginning where they have not done all the gotten rid of all of the of the um, of the buildings yet. Uh, they were still there. You can see the PX there. You can see the NCO Club. The P, uh, you can see the movie theater. You can see the bowling alley. You can see almost all the buildings standing except to the far north, uh, where you can see the tower. Just you can barely see it, and also uh, some of the buildings that uh, from so this is back from the south side of the base going towards the north, and you can see you can see downtown in the in, in the upper left hand corner. You can see uh, downtown. You can see Darmstadt. Okay, in this video uh, here, in this video, this uh, this short clip right here, in this uh, photo right here, you can see um, the the school that's just north of the of the. Um, of the base you can see uh they're starting to uh they still got a lot of the buildings up in this photo this, this is probably like around april -ish sometime uh probably in march or april of 2020 and uh you can see uh, uh, everything there is still almost intact except everything on the north uh side of the gate uh, where they had demolished the uh, first set of uh of, of buildings Okay, in this picture right here, this is almost, they're almost completely done here, d knocking down stuff. Uh, they do have that one little extra building to the south of the four that they're going to be keeping. That one, I think, is gone now. I'm not, I, I believe it's it's gone. Um, and also, they've been keeping so far the headquarters building, which is next to the tower. That, they've been keeping that for some oddball reason. I don't know why, but that's supposed to be slated to be knocked down also. You're going to have, just have those four buildings in the middle there. Uh, that's all that's going to be left. This is in the uh, the winter of 2021. As you can see, that building that I was just talking about that, that that's being uh, uh, taken down in this photo right here. And uh, this is a snowy time, so you know this is how it looks in in Germany in, in the uh, snow, just like it does in Michigan. And um, looks like they uh, have, are doing a lot more work still. Okay, so these are pictures from the web camera that is basically on the tower. This one's pointing down towards the gym that's at the top that's going to be left, uh, that's going to be reused by the community. Uh, you have, look, I think the baseball diamond is uh, going to be reused as a community garden. I, I could be wrong about that. The head, the building that's right here, that's a headquarters building. It's still standing, by the way. And you can see the, uh, the bunch of group of trees. That's where the courtyard really was. And uh, they're still working on flattening things out and uh, that kind of work. This is another webcam photo off the same tower, a different direction. You can still see that you can see the gate there. You can see the four buildings that are left. Um, and uh, you can barely vaguely, I think you can actually see in this photo that there's some something left of the other building that was being demolished uh, back in, I think it was like February or so. So, um, but this is this camera angle is updated. They have some webcams on the website that I'm going to show you about that are there every day. And this is the final angle of the uh, web of the webcam that's up there that takes pictures. Uh, that's towards the back of the base. Uh, you can see that everything's gone. Are they still and this uh, th so these uh, webcams are on this website that I'm going to tell you about uh, where you know you can go check them out. I'm going to give you the link. You can go there and. Um, they have a map, an interactive map of what's being built and how it's going to be built. And you can translate it into American and uh, whatnot like that. So so there's this website. And the website is uh, HTTPS www.lugwig. Uh, uh, I, I can't even pronounce this because I'm not very good at reading the German, uh, Germanized English. But anyways, yes, uh, you go to this website. They have uh, the map of uh, what it's going to look like. They have the web cameras there and uh, you can click on them and look at them and download pictures and whatnot and it's really great also for a lot of photos of the uh camp by fritz concern you can go over here to these trace of history overseas igs they have they t went and went to darmstadt at cfk and took all of the photos before the base was demolished they've been sharing them around uh there's tons of them and uh it's a great uh, facebook page to go to and reminisce over photos of the base
So as I leave you with this update, uh, uh, as of uh, April the 11th, 2021, uh, we follow along uh, the demolition and the rebuilding of Cambay for its concern in Darmstadt, Germany. Um, and uh, here is what it used to be. And uh, in the future, it's going to be a community whereas they don't have cars to drive around. It's going to be a non-driving, uh, n- non-vehicle um, uh community where the Strauss will come through where it did not before and um, and it's also going to be uh, uh, you know um, us- utilizing um, green energy and um, you know and uh, good for the environment and stuff like that and Germany is just doing a wonderful job and uh, it's going to be great so you go to that website you can follow along with it there with the webcams and these are the photos that I showed you of ones that I've collected uh, just showing you some perspective of what's been going on for the last year or so uh, here at Cambrai for its concern. Thanks for watching, and be sure to give a like. Thank you. Bye-bye.